Welcome to Divine Femme TV. My name is Sarah Rose and it is an honor and a blessing to be able to to serve the courageous souls that are part of this collective awakening into heart-centered unity consciousness. So that being said, if you're listening to this on the podcast, I would love it if you leave a review and consider joining us over on YouTube at Divine Femme TV, where you can connect, leave comments, and I personally try to respond to as many of those as possible. You will come to a point on this journey where you will meet a whole new level of surrender. This is something that your twin flame triggers very early on in this journey. And surrender is probably no foreign concept to you if you're on the twin flame journey or the spiritual ascension journey in general because ultimately the twin flame journey is your ascension journey. But surrender can no longer be a concept and you'll have to surrender to a whole new level in order to enter the kingdom living as the love that you are new earth that is arising which is a shift in perception it's here now you must be sincere in your conviction of desiring this above all else above your worldly needs You will die to all attachments on this journey. You will enter the kingdom naked and unafraid. And by naked, I mean stripped away of all of the illusions and all of the attachments and all of the needs that you think you need. You think you need safety, security, love, abundance, prosperity, money, a home, a job, income, all of these things. And the thinking of you needing these things is part of what will be transcended during this process. So you will face situations and circumstances that will bring you face to face with your fear your fear of uncertainty your fear of lack your fear of scarcity your fear of not being safe or secure or stable and this is a big one because it goes against everything you've ever learned about your reality The concept that you need any of these things is an illusion. And to the degree that you still believe that these external, the external world of form will be able to provide these things for you is to the degree that you will be faced with initiation after initiation after initiation until you finally surrender it all to God and open to the love that you are and to the abundance that you are and allow life to unfold organically for you by trusting and knowing that God is always your supply and that love is always seeking its highest expression the need to control reality or the need to have these things in order to carve out a comfortable life for your human experience is a need that comes from lack. It's a need that comes from fear and it's a need that comes from, from the belief in scarcity does it not? If you believe you need these things and the external world of form needs to give it to you, that is a belief in lack or scarcity and it's fear-driven. 
And so you will meet all of your fears on this journey, especially the ones that have been life themes for you. They will come up, especially as you approach being able to abide in the love that you are. And so it's very, very paradoxical because you already are this love. You are this abundance. And yet you're seeking it outside of yourself. And in the seeking of it, you actually push it further away because you're still seeing through the eyes of separation that you are not it. And in the actual surrendering of it is when you actually become one with it. So if you're still looking out into your external world and you're thinking that the new job is going to save you or that more clients will give you the abundance you seek or a new relationship will give you the love that you need or that your abundance or prosperity comes in the form of a new business partnership or a collaboration. Any place you're seeking outside of yourself for these things is part of the illusion and part of what will be transcended. If you think more money is going to bring you abundance, this is part of the illusion. The external world of form is symbols of the one source, of the one love that is the substance of all things, that is you. You are one with all that you seek. And therefore, it is God that comes in the form of money. It is God that comes in the form of a business partnership. It is God that comes in the form of a new job opportunity. It is God that comes in the form of a romantic partnership. It is God that comes in the form of a new collaboration. God, the divine essence that is you, that flows to you and through you as you and as all things, is what flows into your experience appearing as these forms but God is formless that is the substance of all things you are supported not by these things right you are supported by the substance of love the, the, the substance of all these things beyond the form you are, you are supported by the formless you are the formless you are one with all of these things because you are one with all of creation. When you look through the eyes of duality, the eyes of the egoic mind that sees separation, you see the world objectified. You see it as you're over here and everything else is somewhere else or over there and you need it to come to you in order for you to acquire it in some way so that you can have more of fill in the blank, whatever it is you feel that you need. And this is the illusion that you will transcend as you move from identification with the mind into your sacred heart. You begin to see through the one eye, the single eye of your heart. You begin to see the oneness in all things, that there is no separation and that you are unified with all of creation. You are one with it. And therefore, there is nothing that you could lack. There is nothing that you could need. There is nothing that you would need to call towards you or that you would need to acquire because you're already it. And so as you approach unity consciousness you will no longer be operating or perceiving from the desires and the needs of the little mind 
that chases the carrot in an attempt to seek the comforts of the 3D reality in order to carve out a better experience for itself because you will have come to see with true spiritual vision that you are one with all of creation and from this heart's perception there is no you there to need the little mind is just doing its thing it's it's the little mind is no longer what you're identified with and in true paradox you are all things the physical body is not your true identity your physical body is the world of form and while you are your physical body in a sense you are not just your physical body you are the animating presence that animates your physical body and when bodily death is experienced your divine presence will continue without skipping a beat your awareness your presence the love will continue for eternity it's timeless and it is not bound to this physical reality so the more that your perception is looking out into the world of form bound to this physical reality or identified as the human body you will continue to chase the carrot and seek things outside of yourself in order to bring you the love the comfort or the abundance or the safety or the security and everything that you feel that you need and there are different phases of this as you ascend on this journey that most divine feminines will experience there are plenty of people that awaken to the oneness that they are without going through for example dark night of the soul or or any of those things some people just have spontaneous awakenings i can only speak to the divine feminine journey from the direct experience that's been had over here and there's a peeling away of all of the layers of that which you are not which is what your twin flame triggers at the onset of this journey and is very much part of the ego death dark night of the soul which many experience especially if you're on the twin flame journey and opening to heart-centered unity consciousness is a process of purification surrendering your attachment to all of the beliefs and all of the stories that you've bought into as a separate self so you are being asked if you're resonating with this To surrender on a deeper level than you ever have before surrendering your dreams surrendering your desires surrendering your needs surrendering your loved ones your money your career your income surrendering it all to the God essence within you to the divine trusting and knowing in your heart that you are supported by the love of God and oftentimes at this phase of the journey you will feel as if you have really come up against a rock and a hard place you really feel that your back is against the wall and this is divinely guided because it's meant to get you to see through the fear that comes up as you believe in the falsehoods that you are not supported, that you are not loved, and that you are not abundantly provided for by the love of God. This is the highest level of surrender 
surrendering life, your perceived life, to life itself and trusting that life will support you. And it's oftentimes in the 11th hour where your faith is tested, where you, the miracle will occur. And this miracle that comes in at the 11th hour is just to give you the experiential wisdom so you can see that fear has always been an illusion and that you are always supported that the divine intelligence, the God essence that flows to you, through you, and as you works in mysterious and magical ways. And as you are able to continue to surrender with faith and step fully into the unknown, handing it all over, handing your life all over to the divine orchestration, you begin to live in the miracle and magic of life where love is always seeking its highest expression and life always takes care of life. If you would like support on this journey and you are called to work with a guide through the different phases of this journey, through the heart awakening process, through the dark night of the soul and the death and rebirth process that occurs on this divine feminine twin flame journey and you want to just make sense of what's happening on this journey so that you can fully take your power back and shift from suffering to sovereignty then I welcome you to check out Embody the Empress wherever you happen to be listening to this and until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.